this video, I'm going to show you how to replace a bathtub faucet handle. In case you're interested, here's the product information for my replacement parts. My bathtub already had a Delta system in it and I thought it would be easier if I replaced it with another Delta system. I really didn't want to get into the plumbing inside of the walls, I just wanted a quick cosmetic fix. Be sure to read through your instruction manual before you start working on any project. Here are the tools that I used. For this project, you need to shut off the water to your house. There's, there should be a lever next to a pipe. You just reach in, grab that lever, and pull until it is perpendicular with the pipe. It's going to take a bit of effort to get that lever pulled down. Then you're going to want to open up some of your faucets around the house and just let the water run until it stops and then you'll be ready to go. Before you start working in your bathtub, make sure that you either close your drain or put something over top of it so nothing falls down there. In order to take off the handle, you're going to have to get access to the little screw that's underneath the cap. Here's a close-up of the bathtub handle, and I'm just sticking a pokey object into these two little notches so I can kind of pry that little cap off. It can be a little stubborn, so keep prying a little bit at a time until it pops off. Next, you need to untwist that screw so that you can get the handle off, then just grab that handle and pull it right off. With the handle out of the way, now you should be able to access the screws that are holding the faceplate onto the wall. Here's an up close picture of where those two screws are located. If you have a different type of faucet than a Delta, say you have a Moen for example, your screws might be located in a different place. Grab the face plate and gently pull it off the wall. To pull the casing off, grab it firmly but pull gently and it should come off. So the last thing to do for this step is to remove the old gasket and to replace it with the new one from your kit. You want to put it over top of the bonnet, then pull it back forward so that it's really close to it. Now it's time to put on the new casing and the faceplate. You want to put the new faceplate on next. Just kind of slides over the casing and you want to make sure that you line up the two holes in the faceplate with the screw holes that are inside the wall. I thought it was a little easier to see when I started screwing in the faceplate. If I left it popped off the wall a little bit, just so that I could see that the screw was actually getting um, into the anchor that it was supposed to get into. Another tip for you that might help, once I got the first screw into place, I immediately stopped and started working on the second screw. If you screw the first screw in all the way, you're not going to be able to see where the second screw is going and, and if it's actually anchored into the place that it's supposed to be. So I just worked one screw at a time, but I made sure they were both in the correct place before I really started screwing them in. Now it's time to put the handle back on. First thing you're going to need to do is remove the cap. I kind of just got my fingernails underneath of it and was able to pop it off. There's a screw in there that's going to screw into the cartridge that's sticking out of the casing. 
You should notice when you get the handle in the correct position, it just kind of slides into place. Next, you need to screw in the handle and push the cap into place. And that's it. All that's left to do is turn the water back on. Two things to keep in mind when you're doing this is that you want to make sure that you have an open faucet running somewhere in your house and you also want to turn the water back on somewhat slowly. If you turn the water back on too fast, there is a potential that it could cause some damage to your pipes. So go slow. And try out your new bathtub faucet.